The solar eclipse is almost here and you can see the countdown. It's on the bottom of your screen and part of Illinois will be in the path of totality. Totality. We've been talking that word that includes, of course, <laughs> Southern Illinois and Carbondale and over the coming days, hundreds of thousands of people are planning to travel there to experience this phenomenon. So joining us on this Feel Good Friday to talk about what this all means, of course, let me make sure I get your name right. Daniel Thomas, the Deputy Director of the Illinois Office of Tourism. Welcome to our stream team on this Feel Good Friday. We're so excited, all of us. You're going to be there. What I is am. the impact of this phenomenal event? Look, and I think I was there in 2017, mm -hmm. and of course we had over 200,000 wow. people come to Southern Illinois and experience the area. Um, from an economic impact standpoint, people spent nearly $18 million in the region. Um, wow. Saluki Stadium in Carbondale um, saw over 50,000 people over the three-day weekend in the festival. So it's an opportunity for people to get out and experience Southern Illinois and uh, see the solar eclipse. Yeah, and it's such a great part of our state. It's just completely different than Chicago area. It it's beautiful down mm -hmm. there. What was it like for you? Here's a look at Saluki Stadium uh, back when you were there. Uh, it's it's like a visceral experience, isn't it? It's just incredible. It is, and I hadn't experienced it before in my lifetime. And seeing people's emotion and how they react in the stadium, um, there's just that eeriness that when it actually happens. And the great thing about this year is that we're going to see nearly double the time of totality. So right. a little bit over you know four minutes and nine seconds in the Carbondale area. Um, so it's very exciting and the stories and that people tell down there was just amazing. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I know Cheryl's going to be at the Adler Planetarium. Yes. She was over there today. Those glasses that you had, Cheryl, do those big glasses, do they really see through those or was, oh, is that just a prop? Oh no, those are actual glasses that I'll be using for the wow. solar eclipse. I think they're welders glasses, okay. but they also come with <laughs> the necessary you know things in place to be able to view the sun I'll be at Adler we're not in the path of totality so bummed about that but it's still going to be an amazing show here in Chicago for so many and as you might know 94 percent totality here in Chicago we're mm -hmm. not going to see or feel those effects that you're going to experience I downstate know. but right. still an amazing show with 94 percent of the sun it's very cool. we'll take it now I was over across the street in 2017 mm -hmm. atop the Renaissance <laughs> on the rooftop but some people call it a religious and a spiritual experience seeing this solar eclipse we've been learning all the terms umbra penumbra to totality <laughs> yeah. I think Cheryl is the best teacher She's making sure we know everything. But for you and for everyone who's going to experience, we have some colleagues who are going there, sure. who are not working it, but taking their families Just for vacation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how do you tell people what it really is like? Yeah, I think um, it's a lifetime experience. Okay. And when you think about this, it isn't just that lifetime experience. When you get to experience it in a special part of the state, to your point, Rob, Southern Illinois is an outdoor mecca. You know, we're so fortunate in Illinois because we've got 64 state parks. And this time round, 128 miles of visibility, albeit wow. partial in some places, but nearly 31 of our state parks in that region are going to have a partial viewing experience. So whether you're going in your RV into a camping ground, maybe you're <laughs> doing some horseback riding, we've got people down there that are going to do it on a canoe and go kayaking yeah. on the Cash yeah. River. So it's great. It's just so got chills. We've, yeah. got a, um, we've got a local teacher who's going to skydive and watch it. Yeah. yeah, so they call uh, Saluki Town party town, right? <laughs> well, I, Larry had said the last time he was down there driving back, Larry Mara, meteorologist, it took him 10 hours to get back from uh, oh, Southern. And, and I know the state has said maybe just stay down there uh, uh, the night, but you're with the state of Illinois, so we need to talk about the economic impact of this because it is substantial for this state. Gonna make a lot of money, the tourism is. Yeah, yeah look, and I, and I think all these people are gonna be dining in small yeah. businesses, they're gonna be at distilleries and wineries and spending money. So, and the product down there, remember since 2017, we've actually got new hotels. We've got Walker's Bluff Casino, over 111 new rooms in the area, um, but then short term rentals and so many other opportunities. So, and I'm really proud of how the small businesses and our Illinois made makers are getting behind it. You know, merchandise, their 
creating inspiring. specialty whiskies. Yeah, right. um, ah. So there's going to be something for everyone to experience down is it, there. If you've had whiskey, do you experience, is it better, different? Well, it's called the Dark Noon Whiskey. Ah. So, I, I, you know, it's designed for day drinking, yeah. but uh, I'm not sure. Clips, whiskey, yeah, right. moonshine, right. all right. the things. Moonshine, oh man, Cheryl. Uh, it, advice before we let you go for people yeah. that are here heading down. Yeah. Uh, I would think leaving early. You said you're actually going to take the train, which mm -hmm. is sold out. Larry was looking at that. Yeah. Uh, no what seats. a great way to go down there. It'll be a party uh, all yeah. the way. Yeah. Express train. I'm taking Amtrak five and a half hours straight into Carbondale. Uh, From a tourism perspective, we're encouraging people to go down earlier, come in on Saturday yeah. or Sunday, mm -hmm. but don't leave back from Southern Illinois on the day. Stay in right. ex Stay that night. Yeah. Um, and that's where, if you're driving, we're encouraging people to pre-plan. And we've actually put a resource tool on enjoyillinois.com yeah. so that if you are traveling by vehicle, we've collaborated with uh, Department of Transportation and Natural Resources, and we're suggesting tips and tools in, in terms of pre planning, making sure simple things, take water in your vehicle, yeah. um, you know, be snacks. prepared for delays and snacks. So <laughs> music. Um, exactly. <laughs> then, you know, why not stay overnight for an extra night, go to a winery, go to some Ooh. of our small businesses in the area and, and just yeah. experience what Southern Illinois has to offer. Wow. Yeah. And I know my nephew Hi. just texted my sister that he got a, a plane ticket to Dallas, so he's going to watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah last minute wow. people, yeah. So. Uh, travel safe down yes. there. We want to connect you with Larry. Maybe we'll We'll yeah. run into you again and talk to you live down there uh, on Monday afternoon. So yeah. thanks for being Well, Rob's doing a special. Yeah, we're going to do Judy are doing a special right. for well, two hours. And so, Cheryl. she'll yeah. be at Adler. Yeah. We'll be uh, streaming right. right where you're watching us mm -hmm. now. Uh, we'll right. tell you about that in just a second. Oh, here it is. So, yeah, we're going to have that special report. Uh, we're going to start, though, on Sunday night. We start to have some reports. Look for that. Uh, Larry's going to be in Carbondale. Greg's going to be in Indianapolis. Uh, and Cheryl, uh, here is going to be at the Adler Planetarium uh, in Chicago. Yeah, so I got my glasses. We're not going to be able to see it. I know, you can't oh, see okay, anything, Oh, okay, look, here, right? this is new too, so scan this right. QR code. Mm -hmm. Scan it um, when you can see it. Our right, our cover <laughs> starts Monday at 1. Yes. And you can get more information there. And we Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.